Let's continue the uh, short clips and the reassembly of our 1380 Hot Street engine here. Lightweight flywheel. One of the mysteries uh, of some of these is how do you know how much to space these up? I mean, you see a lot of different size spacers. Usually the factory thick flywheels have a single machined washer, a little flat washer or something like that that sets these, these uh, straps off. This happens to be the old flywheel from our Cooper S, an early two-piece factory type lightweight one. You can see it's pretty thin across here. Usually they're, they're a lot more metal here. Our back plate. I'm fond of painting these a light, light blue to keep them from turning a light rust. But uh, we just space it up with some bushings. Uh, in this case, I only have one disc, so we'll show what we're doing here with our lightweight flywheel determine that distance. And you can see this is nice and light here if I don't lose my grip on it. So if we set everything on there with no diaphragm spring, then we take a look at our spacing. I kind of lost track of the um, um, the little spacer buttons that come with the new flywheels. I've had this laying around for a few years, uh, but I found a set here on another one. And yeah, they're about the right, they're about the same height as the post coming up from the uh, back plate below. You know, alternatively, you take maybe four of these machined factory ones, and you can see you're getting about there. I think under here, I've got three, three washers, those flat, again, the factory machined flat ones. You don't just want to haphazardly stack washers. This is a pretty critical uh, bolt here, you can see having a lock tab. So we've determined that was about right. And you can see here, I've already kind of lightly assembled these. But uh, spacer goes over the threaded hole in the flywheel itself. You get these special shaped shouldered bolts. In this case, let me see here if I can thread. We got our lock tab. Through the spacer. Start the bolt. And we can see that as these assemble and line up to the posts, parallel. We're about, you know, without this spacer, we'd have something like this. These, these very hard steel straps would be at a severe angle. And that leads to some pretty weird behavior when these are spinning fast. So you want this parallel when everything's at rest. And in this case, our disc is in here. Our back plate's in here, the flywheel's in here, we don't have our diaphragm spring, so we can see that at a state of rest, these are parallel. So you don't have any weirdness going on as the whole assembly spins, you know, at engine speed, it's, it's, it's going. So we'll get this all centered. I like installing these, if possible, on an engine stand where you've got them straight up, because funny things can happen when you put these together, allowing gravity to sag everything off center. So in this case here, we'll have our disc centered about our primary gear, which has got all of its um, end float and such set. You can see here I've lapped the flywheel. It's a new flywheel, but I've lapped it onto this crankshaft nicely so that everything should go together just as cleanly and as straight as possible. <laughs> 